Camera rolling, cat loafing, all that's left is you. So what do you say? Are you ready for some good news? First up, a new study finds that drugs commonly prescribed to lower cholesterol levels could reduce the risk of breast cancer. The study, which was conducted by researchers at Aston Medical School in Birmingham in the United Kingdom, was 14 years in the making and included over 1 million people. It showed that women with high cholesterol had a significantly lower rate of developing breast cancer. The researchers concluded this is most likely the result of a protective effect of statins, a class of drugs that includes popular medications like Lipitor, prescribed to lower cholesterol levels. The difference in breast cancer rates between women with high cholesterol and without observed by the study was dramatic. Women with high cholesterol were 45% less likely to develop breast cancer, and women with high cholesterol who did develop breast cancer were 40% less likely to die as a result. The next step, according to the researchers behind this study, is a clinical trial to evaluate this protective effect of statins against breast cancer. This study was presented yesterday at the European Society of Cardiology Congress in Barcelona, Spain. Next up, new research suggests that patients at risk for developing diabetes may have an unlikely ally, cocoa. A study from researchers at Brigham Young University finds that compounds present in cocoa called epicatechin monomers help cells produce more insulin, strengthening their ability to manage higher blood glucose levels. But don't go stocking up on hot chocolate and Hershey bars quite yet. To take in enough epicatechin monomers to make a difference in preventing or treating diabetes, you'd have to eat a lot of cocoa and sugar-free cocoa. Otherwise, it'd probably do way more harm than good. Instead, the BYU researchers are looking for ways to isolate the epicatechin monomers from cocoa so they can be used to supplement the diets of diabetes patients and help them maintain those healthy blood glucose levels. This study is published in the Journal of Nutritional Biochemistry. And finally, researchers say they have finally discovered the purpose of a 3,700-year-old Babylonian tablet. The clay tablet, designated Plimpton 322, was discovered in what is now Iraq in the early 20th century. On its surface is inscribed a table consisting of four columns and 15 rows, with numbers written in cuneiform, one of the earliest forms of written language. Mathematicians and historians have puzzled over Plimpton 322 for decades. Now, a team at the University of New South Wales says it has finally solved the mystery. Plimpton 322, they say, is a trigonometric table, the oldest, most accurate ancient trigonometric table ever found. If true, this is no small discovery. The Plimpton 322 tablet dates back to around 1800 BCE. 1,600 years before the time of Hipparchus, the Greek mathematician and astronomer who is traditionally credited with innovating trigonometry. If the University of South Wales team's interpretation of the tablet is correct, it means the ancient Babylonians were using trigonometry a millennia and a half earlier than the ancient Greeks. The paper on Plimpton 322 is published in the journal Historia Mathematica. So what have we learned today? Statins help prevent breast cancer, compounds found in cocoa help control diabetes, and an ancient Babylonian tablet proves that people were using trigonometry way earlier than we thought they were. That's the good news. Hey folks, one more thing before I go. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And also please consider helping us to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash steveshives to become a patron. See you next time.